So today I had some fun killing potatoes. Uh, potatoes are a great target because you can cut them open and they bruise this nice pinkish color. And so you can see a lot about wound channeling, uh, energy dissipation, etc. So these are six uh, hunting pellets that I have. Uh, and so I've tried to sort them by uh, the width and uh, just the extreme damage to the least extreme damage done. Uh, so we'll start here. Now these two are very close um, in damage, so it's hard to really judge one over the other. But this one is a Gamo um, Red Tip Hollow Point. And it actually kind of surprised me because I don't hear a whole lot about Gamo uh, in the hunting ammunition sphere. But if you look, just the sheer opening uh, entry point and you can see the bruising all along the sides and just how much it shredded all the way through. Uh, very devastating pellet. Now how it does against hard targets and bone, I'm not sure this is just a potato, but as far as killing potatoes goes, um, Gamo kills potatoes very well. Um, also, and as I said, the two are uh, very close together. Uh, this is an H&N Cro-Magnum and again you can see it's got this very very wide open hollow point so it's like a cereal bowl uh, just coming in and, and hitting its target and that's very very clear by the the, uh, the entry point here this is you can just see this very very wide bruising channel all the way up uh, you can even see there's uh, fissure cracks uh, in the in the potato so both of these uh, pellets hit with a uh, devastating amount of force. Um, this guy is the Predator uh, Metal Mag. So it's very similar design like what you see with the Gamma. Uh, this pellet is a, very, is a pleasure to shoot. Uh, just It's very uh, comfortable in your fingers. Uh, it's a long pellet so it's easy to grip. Feels like Teflon on the sides. And you can see, um, as, um, as you'd expect from a hollow point, a lot of damage, a lot of bruising early on, a lot of energy transfer, uh, followed by some wound channeling. Um, so this one had a, a, a very strong impact and then sort of tapered off. Uh, whereas um, these guys sort of just channeled all the way through. Uh, like I said, this guy may actually be first place. Uh, it's really just subjective. Uh, next up is the Crossman Destroyer. Uh, so you can see more on the right side. I didn't really get a nice even cut halfway through the uh, uh, through the shot channel there. Uh, but you can see uh, this guy actually had the biggest blowback on entry, uh, so the largest entry point of all the pellets. Uh, and it has a unique uh, behavior characteristic where it hits as a hollow point and then continues on uh, as a uh, pointed pellet. Uh, so again, just nice, uh, nice solid impact, consistent shredding as it uh, tunnels through. Uh, and then the last two uh, so were surprisingly H&M. Uh, uh, H&N has a pretty good reputation for hunting. Um, but I think these guys are really meant for harder targets than a potato. Um, this guy is one of my favorites. This is the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. And this is just the Barracuda Hunter. So two H&N pellets. And these guys typically perform uh, better than last. But as I said, um, it just depends on what the pellet's designed for. I don't think they're really designed for potatoes. The Hunter Extreme, it has this Phillips head type uh, tip. It expands into a square pattern. And you can see it just, it's uh, very, very focused in, as it goes through. So not as big of an explosive impact. Still, um, instead of it exploding in the beginning, 
it's kind of more of a less explosive but spreading that energy out a little deeper and you can see right here uh, where it really uh, starts to um, uh, um, spread its energy so not right away so it hits and it kind of goes a little bit and then you can sort of see this cloud of, uh, of bruising here where uh, the expansion finally decides to happen so this guy is going to go in and penetrate a little bit and then um, transfer its energy and then uh, last is just the Barracuda Hunter uh, it's a hollow point this guy has the uh, smallest diameter hole certainly smaller than the Crow Magnum and he basically just pierced straight through the potato you can see there's not a lot of perpendicular bruising uh, so this guy at least through a potato has a very piercing interaction I I like to describe uh, ballistics in terms of punch and pierce. So you think of like Superman flying forward with his fist forward, uh, just tunneling straight through a mountain or whatever. So this guy had a lot of forward energy, not a lot of uh, perpendicular transfer. Just drilled right straight through the uh, through the potato. Um, now because I was shooting these downwards in paper cups, I had the potatoes in these plastic cups behind me set down on concrete so I made these shots uh, vertically uh, from top to bottom so um, these potatoes were actually upside down from where they are now and this guy tunneled through and just smacked into the concrete and flattened out uh, and whereas this guy made it through but you can see there he's not really deformed not compared to this guy and through most of these the destroyer just flattened out more than the rest of them so the destroyer also flew through the potato reasonably well and I think that when you look at these pellets and you see just how flat some of these guys are you realize that uh, the destroyer is a very popular pellet and it still had plenty of energy left over when it exited the potato and that's why you see it so flat um, and then same with uh, the metal mag. Uh, the crow, crow magnum expanded um, and dumped more of its energy into the target. So by the time it got to the concrete, it didn't have a whole lot of energy left over. And the same as the gamma. So uh, the nature in which this experiment was done is a little backwards from what you would expect. You would have expected that just by looking at the before and after, you would have thought that this guy would have been less devastating, but understand that it's because these guys um, did not transfer nearly as much energy into the potato, so they hit the concrete with significantly more force and flattened out. Uh, so, uh, less efficient energy transfer. So again, coming in first, and really sort of a tie for first, um, it's a close call here for me. Uh, the Crow Magnum and the Gamo are both um, very, very deadly when it comes to potatoes. I do have to say though, you can see with the Crow Magnum, you see this billowing right there in the middle uh, where you had a devastating impact, huge transfer of energy, uh, and then uh, continuation of travel. Uh, the metal mag also had a, a devastating impact, but didn't transfer as much energy into the potato before it exited and, and flattened. Um, and then from the destroyer and, and all the rest on again, um, not so energy dumpy. So and to wrap it up, Gamma, Pro Magnum, and Metal Mag are all good soft target pellets. Uh, when you get into harder targets, I would definitely recommend the Destroyer H&N Hunter Extreme, or sorry, H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme, and just the H&N Barracuda Hunter for larger targets. So maybe I can find a better analog to shoot with these guys, uh, but for now, if you're shooting small game, uh, the Gamo, Cro-Magnum, 
and the Predator Metal Mag, I think are going to be your uh, your uh, most devastating body shots. And then for head shots, definitely the uh, Barracuda Hunter Extreme and the Barracuda Hunter, I think, would do well for heads, uh, just due to so a little energy was transferred to the potato. The Hunter Extreme, though, um, the better of the two. Uh, so, thank you for watching.